Travel documentary Foot Sporer is returning for another season. The program has, since the year 2000, undertaken so many epic journeys throughout the African continent and has also recently ventured further abroad to Madagascar and India. The show's presenter, Johan Badenhorst, and his team will, will this season travel through the Zambezi River, following the river from the source to sea. The Zambezi River, as you know, is the fourth longest river in Africa, the longest east-flowing river in Africa, and the largest flowing into the Indian Ocean from Africa. Now, this journey will take the team from Zambia to Angola, back to Zambia, Namibia, Botswana, Zimbabwe, and Mozambique. It will give prominence to the dominant river in southern Africa from which millions are dependent. For more, we are now joined by Footspur presenter Johan Badenhorst. Johan, a very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us and a warm welcome to Morning Live. We are speaking to you from, from Sunny's Hof. I'm standing in a, in a sorghum land, yeah, and I haven't turned to farming. I've just re I'm on my way back back um, having uh, paid a visit to, to Namibia. First time that we crossed uh, an international border since lockdown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I'm here to tell you about more about the season starting tomorrow evening. Uh, the, the last season that we did, you spoke about the, the upcoming one. Uh, yes. uh, early yes. in this year, we'll, uh, well, in a few months' time, we hope to travel the Zambezi. But last year, during lockdown, we did Futsburg in South Africa. And uh, that starts tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock, SABC2. All right. And uh, it must be, you know, so heartwarming to have been a part of the show for all these years. I mean, experiencing uh, the nature and the beauty that uh, the African continent uh, has to offer. Absolutely fantastic. Yes, MP. Uh, we've been very fortunate. It's now been 21 years that we've been fortunate to travel the African continent and, and beyond. As you mentioned earlier, we, we made a visit to Madagascar, also to India. And then we were on our way to Russia to, to, to start off, you know, at first we, we, we did the BRICS countries after doing Africa, India, uh, Russia, Brazil, South Africa, and China. And uh, while we were in, well, uh, actually doing our planning in Russia, um, the coronavirus pandemic hit. So last year we decided that, well, we couldn't go anywhere else. So we traveled South Africa. And that's the series that starts tomorrow evening. And, and the fantastic thing about that is that uh, we've, we've been fortunate to travel the whole continent for many, many years. But now, also because of the coronavirus pandemic and so on, we, we were forced to, to look to look inwards, to look at South Africa itself, and to explore this, this country of ours as a tourist destination. And, and I think uh, the, you know, there are not many positives about Corona, but mm. this was one for us in the sense that we we rediscovered just so many, many places in South Africa. We traveled actually from Pafuri all the way down to uh, to, to Agalas, going through the center of South Africa. And that's what we'll show you in the upcoming series, the one that starts tomorrow evening, um, is, is, is South Africa at its best. Um, we've got fantastic landscapes. We've got fantastic nature, but most of all, we've got fantastic people. And, uh, and that's what we experienced during, during our journey uh, that we undertook last year towards the end of lockdown. Actually, when we went into, I think, into phase three of lockdown, we managed to do, to do this journey, uh, record it, have it edited, and, and we'll present it to you, to you as from tomorrow night. You know, from the epic ex expeditions that you guys have embarked on, what is that common thread? What is it that, uh, uh, you know, you've seen in the different uh, countries and areas that you've been to that really uh, tickles your fancy as an enthusiast and um, as a travel enthusiast? Yeah, I think travel is intoxicating. Travel is one of those things that once you start it, you can never end. Sure. Uh, the wonder wonderful thing about travel is, is, that, is that it exposes you to just so many many more things, especially to other people's culture and, and their beliefs. Uh, it makes you respect them. It, it, uh, it opens your eyes to, to, to just so many wonderful things. About, uh, and that's where the African continent is, uh, is really special. Um, people who have traveled from here, um, you know, northwards uh, uh, to the Zambezi, as we will be doing later on this year, uh, all the way further up uh, in, 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 into Africa, will do it over and over and over and uh, over again. The reason for that is, is because uh, they, what they experience is, is the warmth of, of, of our con continent. Right, um, right. I, I, I truly think that, that that is something very, very, very special about Africa. Right. Now, you previously partnered with SA Tourism. Does that relationship still stand? Uh, 
to a certain extent, yes, because that's what we do, uh, is, is that we promote um, South Africa, especially in this up upcoming series. You know, to a certain extent, you know, I've just come back now from Namibia. Um, to a, in, a certain, uh, in some way, it's, it's easy to cross the border because there are just so few people actually crossing the border. But then again, there are some other obstacles, like somebody sticking something up your nose and you have to pay a lot of money for that just sure. to go, have a coronavirus test. Yeah. I think it's just so much easier to travel in South Africa. Just mm -hmm. take a shot left, you know, and explore our country. That's just so much easier and so much more rewarding, even cheaper as well. Indeed, indeed. You know, Johan, uh, just last month, I took on an expedition and we traveled four provinces in five days. And that was absolutely therapeutic. South Africa has got so much to offer. I mean, we also have uh, a segment in Morning Live called A Small Town of Choice, where we profile some of South Africa's, uh, you know, best kept secrets. So traveling really is therapeutic. So what can viewers expect from this season? I think they, they will experience a lot of new things, a lot of um, uh, small little gems that we found in, in, in our journeys. Uh, previously, as we traveled the continent, we focused on, on, on the bigger issues, you know, going to, up to the Serengeti, go, we climbed Kilimanjaro, uh, we, we, we traveled along the Nile River, and mm -hmm. so on. But, but to do it in South Africa itself, you know, to see the Blyder River Canyon, the second biggest canyon in Africa, was really very, very, very beautiful to experience, um, uh, but not only that. From there, we went on to to, to, to the um, to the high felt. We we did some, some spent some time in the Waterberg. We went to the uh, uh, to the eastern Free State, south southeastern Free State. Spent a lot of time in the Karoo. What a place to you know to visit the the Great Karoo. We went to the Cedarberg. I think one of our highlights of that journey was the hike that we took. Uh, all the way to the Maltese Cross. It was not easy to do that, but it was very, very rewarding. And then also uh, from there, we went on to the West Coast, the unique South African West Coast to go to a place like Pater Noster and, and Titis Bay. Uh, and then came back again into, into the Overberg. Eventually, we ended up at the southernmost point, southernmost tip of, of Africa at, at Cape Agulhas. So, yeah, a lot of diversity. And, and whenever you, you, you uh, think of tra to travel somewhere in, in South Africa, just, you know, just get in your car and, 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 and drive the first 50 kilometers and you'll mm. be amazed of, uh, of what you'll see and what you'll experience. All right. Uh, you know, Johan, you've uh, just triggered the travel enthusiast in so many people and uh, so many people who did not know this show and would, lo would love to tune in. Remind us again when it airs. It starts tomorrow evening uh, on, on Monday okay. at 7 o'clock East BBC 2, just after the news. All right. Johan Badenhorst, great chatting to you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Keep well.